Hey guys, George of Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk a little bit about headlights and especially a question that keeps coming up is on our steam locomotive. If you have a locomotive with only one light, i.e. the headlight, how do you make that light stay on in both directions? So we're going to tackle that today. So let's get started. <laughs> Now, one of the things we get, is a lot of time in the early days of steam, they had a headlight on the front, but not necessarily on the back. Now, as this locomotive here, this Broadway Limited Mikado, has a headlight on the front and again, no light on the back. Now, if you look at it, when I have the headlight on in the forward direction, when I change directions and move in the reverse, you'll notice that the light extinguishes. Now, the question we get a lot is, how do I turn that on, but then have it dim when it's in the reverse direction. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna address the hyperlight effect. And this is the lighting effect that the light displays when it's on. This is where you can select things like rotary beacons, gyro lights, ditch lights, all those different lighting effects to illuminate the light. Now by default, the lighting effect is what's called a dyno light and the dyno light will gradually increase the intensity of the light to correspond with the sound of the dynamo. Now the dynamo, as we've done in videos past, is the steam-driven electric generator for the electric power on the locomotive. And usually you'll hear that spool up, while the dynamo light will actually gradually intensify with that. Now if you go to the user's guide, you'll see our chart here. Now you'll see on-off light with dim in the reverse direction, you'll see is a value of 17. So we'll start with that. Now, because this particular model is using LEDs, we're gonna add 128. And that tells the decoder that this is an LED, so it changes the way that the light signal is being sent through the wire. So now we're gonna go ahead and set CV49 to a value of 145. Now this light will be on in the forward direction, but when I reverse, it will dim. Now, when I change direction here, you'll notice that the light is still going to go out. And that is because this light is set as a directional light and directionality of all of the lights can be set in CV57 and 58. Now, we've done a video on this in the past, again, linked in the description below. But now what we wanna do is we want to enable the light in the reverse direction. And by 57, 57 enables the lights in the forward direction. We already have our headlight enabled, so we don't need to address it but CV58 disables our light in the reverse direction. So we need to go in and add one. Now, right now, this particular model, this is the only light that's on the locomotive. So we can go ahead and set CV58 to a value of one to enable the headlight or function zero forward when it's in also in the reverse direction. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But you wanna to refer to the value in the user's guide if you have multiple lights on the locomotive, let's say, for example, if you had number boards or firebox and things like that, now you wanna to refer to the chart in the user's guide to make sure you get the proper value. So now, once I set CV58 to a value of one, you'll notice that my light has turned back on. So now when I'm in the reverse direction, we'll go ahead and start moving. You can see that the light is on, but dimmed. I'll come to a stop, the light stays dimmed. We'll go in forward direction now, the light again stays dimmed because it's stopped. Now we start moving in the forward direction and you'll notice that that light brightens up. Now this is something that's available on all of our soundtracks, Tsunami 2 and Ekonami decoders. So it's just a matter of setting a few CVs to get this lighting effect for your model. Now for more information, please visit our website at soundtracks.com and be sure to check out the Steam User's Guide as well as the Diesel and Electric User's Guide for all the cool things you can do with your Tsunami 2s.